Nowadays, there are many software that can help you create stunning interior design projects. One of these software is Blender. So today, we're not going to talk about whether Blender is good or not for interior design, because it obviously is. We're going to talk about why it is good and what sets it apart from the rest of the 3D software that can be used for interior design. Blender was not specifically created for interior design, because it was intended to be an animation software in the first place, but over time it became more and more suitable for doing this task. Now it does have specific tools that are oriented specifically for interior design, but the tools and the add-ons that the community created made the process much better and efficient energy and time-wise. Modeling Blender has great modeling tools that can be great for interior design. These tools are great since you are able to model any interior design asset you want, whether it be furniture, doors, windows, plants, and so on. You can do this using Blender meshes, curves, and surface editing tools, in addition to modifiers that play a huge role in the modeling process. Materials Creating materials using Blender is not the easiest part of interior design in the software. This is the case because Blender's material editor is node-based, which can be confusing for some people, especially at the start. It might seem hard, but once you get used to it, it becomes very sweet and easier to work with compared to the compact material editor that is still commonly used in many 3D software such as 3ds Max. Rendering when it comes to rendering, Blender comes with two powerful render engines. First, EV, which is Blender's real-time render engine that can help you a lot during rendering your projects in real time. This will help you see materials, lighting, and the overall scene on the fly so you can change things if necessary before you go to the final render. Cycles is the other render engine in Blender, which is used for doing final renders. It is very good in interior design and has many settings that can help you get the results you are looking for. Animation when it comes to animation, Blender is way more than capable of creating any type of animation you need for interior design, whether it be walkthroughs, animating cameras, or anything else you need in the process. Add-ons Blender comes with a ton of free add-ons that are shipped with it. You can use these for free, but if you want more, you can always use third-party add-ons that are even better and can help you deliver great results in all different aspects of interior design using Blender. First of all, for modeling, there is a really handy add-on for interior design called Archipack. This add-on helps you add some pre-made architectural elements for interior design, such as windows, doors, roofs, stairs, and more, which is great for saving time. There are similar add-ons that can do similar jobs, such as building tools and Archimash. These add-ons can even show measurements, which is handy for interior designers and architects. E-Cycles, on the other hand, is an add-on that can be used to achieve better ray tracing performance. It promises to solve a real problem for artists that need high-quality renders while doing this on their average machines with a reasonable render time. It is important for interior designers because it gives better and realistic results. You can also use the sampling add-on to create trees. This is another add-on that ships with Blender. There are many preset tree types to choose from, and you can always create your own, of course. In addition to that, there are tons of other useful add-ons for architecture and interior design. You can check the links in the description. If you are interested in learning more about rendering, I recommend you try Skillshare. Skillshare is a learning platform that has thousands of classes on a variety of different topics. If you want to learn render engines such as V-Ray, Cycles, Octane, Redshift, or any other, you can find a lot of classes that can help you do that step by step. For example, you can start learning with this class about how to create photorealistic exterior renderers with 3ds Max and V-Ray, which will help you a lot as a beginner. Also, if you are a Blender user, I recommend this class that will teach you how to create and design a modern interior in Blender. You will learn about the basics of modeling, adding materials, lighting, and rendering. And the good thing is, it is very affordable, because you need to pay less than $10 per month to get access to all these fantastic classes. The first 1,000 people to click on the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Blender compared to the other 3D interior design software. Working on interior design projects is a common reason for using 3D software, and there are a lot to choose from. As mentioned before, Blender tools and add-ons can help you do a lot in interior design, but Blender does have a very strong competition in this field. 3D software such as Max, which was originally oriented for architecture for decades now. It has a ton of resources for both beginners and professionals. 
The downside of using Max is the fact that it is very expensive and purchasing a rendering software license such as V-Rays makes it a pain for new people, even professionals. But there are some alternatives like using Arnold, which is a great render engine that ships with Max. There is also Cinema 4D, which is a very fast 3D rendering and modeling software. It is very powerful in interior design and can be supplemented with 3D rendering software such as Arnold, Octane, Redshift, and so on. In addition to plugins for different purposes, which helps interior designers take their game to the next level. Cinema 4D is more than capable of doing complex architecture and interior design tasks. Probably what makes this software interesting for beginners is the fact that it is considered easy to learn for many. In addition to the abundance of learning resources, from YouTube videos to online courses. And the same applies for Max too. However, many interior designers still choose to go with Blender because it became very popular and powerful over the years. In fact, it is now on par with the other paid 3D software and better in many aspects. And the best part is, it is completely free. The learning curve of Blender in interior design. Interior designers constantly educate themselves. This is what keeps experienced people excited and passionate. Even those who have been in the field for many years are still learning. When it comes to interior design, I think it is one of the easiest gateways to learning 3D and learning Blender specifically. So interior design is relatively easy to learn and it is going to be an easy process as well. But of course you will have to learn new skills that might seem a little bit hard at first, but over time it is going to be easier as you make more progress. It will take on average few months of practice to be able to create some realistic renders. In case you already have some experience in other 3D software and interior design, you'll be able to pick up Blender very quickly because it will be just a matter of learning the tools and how they work inside the software. Another part of the process is to learn how to effectively light an interior and create realistic materials. That's why it is sometimes a good thing to learn texturing and lighting in Blender using ready scenes which gives you the time to practice more. This is the case if you don't want to spend a lot of time modeling everything which can be really time consuming. So you have to put in the work and practice to be a good interior designer using Blender. You can do this starting by watching tutorials and courses. Just make sure that you are focusing on understanding the workflow of professional artists that can help you along the way. This way you will have a clear route to follow which makes it easier for you. But most importantly, you'll be able to learn things the right way. Since interior design relies a lot on modeling tools of Blender, the UI and keyboard shortcuts in Blender might be difficult to figure out for a complete beginner. But since Blender 2.8, things have become much easier to learn and much clearer for newcomers. The biggest factor in the learning curve of Blender is that it is too powerful. And with power sometimes there is a degree of complexity. But as a beginner you can keep things simple and you don't have to worry too much about the things that you are not going to need at the stage you are at right now. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.